Welcome to the enlarged Cotter Dam site. Hello, it's Richard Snashel here. Come out with me and let's have a bit of a tour of the site and see what works have been happening. We're starting off here at the Crusher building. This was a pretty large piece of infrastructure to put up, but a very important one as it outputs this material. And actually the very first, the very first shot there in the video was um, a conveyor putting out material onto this stockpile here from the crusher. And this material of course comes from the quarry which is on site at the enlarged Cotter Dam. This particular moxie truck is actually travelling across the top there where the uh, stockpile is and what is called Stockpile Hill, very creatively named and uh, I'm a little bit closer there to the stockpile and you can see how much material has already been laid there and of course is going to go into the new Cotter Dam wall. There is the quarry, looking down at the quarry as we pan across up the Crusher building there and on the far left of the frame is Saddle Dam number one. Here in the quarry there's been quite a lot of work done in recent weeks to stabilise the quarry um, and particularly um, stabilise against problems caused by rainfall. In fact, the day before I was f doing this filming, there had been 28 mils of rain. And so um, the, the drainage is working really well. So there's been some concrete stabilisation, which you can see there, and some drainage put in. Um, there's a bit of concrete there. Because if water gets into some of these larger segments of rock, which you can see in the next shot there, that actually can cause problems for the guys driving the, the um, construction vehicles and the equipment on site if some of that rock falls. So, so this stabilisation and drainage has made the quarry uh, a much safer place to work. There's a 50 tonne truck taking a load of material from an excavator there and that'll go up to the crusher. Now there's a screen also working down in the quarry and this screen is putting out material which is going to the new public viewing platform which is under construction at the moment. And in this next shot we will actually sneak a little look. We're looking down from the enlarged Cotter Dam site to where the new um, viewing platform and walking trail are going to go and that's in the Cotter Recreation Area which of course is closed at the moment. But you, you can see there some of the concreting that's gone in and uh, yes, it's all underway. There's the Cotter Dam itself, the existing Cotter Dam. And now we're looking at Saddle Dam number two. And there's been a lot of work done on Saddle Dam number two in terms of trenching and putting in of fill material, clay and rock fill. And the Saddle Dams, there are two Saddle Dams and they are auxiliary dams to the enlarged Cotter Dam and they will only fill up when the new enlarged Cotter Dam is actually full. Now we've hopped over to Saddle Dam number one and Saddle Dam number one is, is really just getting going in terms of work or it's, it's well underway I should say. There's trenching done there and um, it's having similar work done to, to what was done in Saddle Dam number two digging out of, of core trenches, um, there'll be rock and clay fill put in there. You can see a little bit of water there from the rain that fell the day before I did this filming. But the drainage on site is really quite remarkable. You, you'd be amazed how, how, well, how well it's all been set up. It's a real credit to the guys. How they're dealing with the environmental, environmental issues of water on site. Now we're looking at the abutments. There's the left and right abutment. Of course, these two abutments are above the Cotter Riverbed, and this is where the new enlarged Cotter Dam wall is going to go. Plenty of work there on the left-hand side abutment, stabilization work, and there's excavators working over there. And they're throwing material over and down into the Cotter Riverbed, which of course is closed to the public and has had diversion works put in so that um, uh, water flow between the existing Cotter Dam and the Cotter River are now travels through a pipe. Now this is the right hand abutment and there's a lot of work being done here. 
as well as the left hand abutment and there's been a lot of uh, stabilization through uh, dental concreting work you can see just there there's some concreting work I like the idea of it being dental pretty big teeth that's for sure excavators there throwing material over the edge there's some of that stabilization concrete there there's a hammer there tapping away you can see some of the um, environmental measures taken there to ensure that it's a stable and safe place to work and that water drains correctly which is all important especially because we've had all this all this rain Of course, the old Cotter Dam wall will be inundated with water when the new dam fills up. Now, there's a Xantheria, one of the wonderful ancient trees that are native to the site. That could be several hundred years old. And many of those, of course, have been relocated from the site to the Australian National Botanic Gardens and other locations around the site. Now, this is a foreman's kit. It's basically a GPS for big construction equipment and it'll tell you where you are on site, how deep you're digging, how wide you're digging, and it's accurate down to about 50 mils. So it's a terrific thing to have, and they certainly didn't have them in 1912 when they were building the original Cotter Dam. There's Rue there, he's about to say goodbye. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that little update from the enlarged Cotter Dam site, and we look forward to showing you some more activity next month.